Today, we're going to fire up a fresh engine. A few of the things you need to do beforehand, really helpful, makes things go a lot better. Okay, we're working on this Corvair today. I've already got oil in it, got the cooling system clear full and bled. If you uh, have a fitting up uh, next to your thermostat housing, a temperature sender maybe like over here, heater hose, you crack it open a little until the coolant comes up there and then you know it's full up to the bottom of your thermostat. Tighten that back up, continue filling. I have primed the fuel system. I put an electric fuel pump in there for a little while. Pumped it from the tank to the carburetor so everything's got fuel in it. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to prime the, the oiling system. Let's watch this. I have this dummy distributor. Gears are all the teeth are ground off the gears. It's got the housing. Spin that oil pump up on a Chevy. Oil to one side of the lifters goes through a passage the distributor goes through. So you can use just the shaft, but you don't have this to hold the passage shut to oil the rest of it. Just a little something there. I've already got the engine up on top dead center. So we should be good there. Okay, and this is number one power. Distributor right there. You got the rotor point to where, and I marked it, where number one tower is. Have your clamp bolt loose so you can get that distributor out. Take the back advance off. Set that aside safely somewhere. Take your oil pump drive. Another thing I like to do is to look down in there. See where that, where that distributor, where the oil pumps point to. Dang, it's a long ways down there. Okay, about straight ahead. So if I put it back there, the distributor ought to just jump right back in. I'll spin that up with the drill. I'm going to watch the oil pressure gauge on the dash. Hope it all goes where it's supposed to be. On a small block Chevy, 4.3, the distributor turns clockwise. So you spin the pump that way, you're pumping oil. It's pulling down while you're pumping oil. I was pulling 20 pounds there. I like to do this for a little while, get the oil through everything, and the lifter, get up on the valves, and the bearings, of course. Okay, there we got 30 pounds, 35, and we got 40. Long way between here and oil gauge, it takes a little time to so. take a look around, see if you got any leaks. I got an engine oil cooler running up over into the fender here. So I got to fill that up and I got hoses that could leak there and such. I think we're good. Let's see where we're lined up. Yeah, might just do it. And you know how you had your distributor pointing. Kind of slide that back down in there. If you're lucky, it drops right in. Put the rest of your ignition system together. And when I go to crank them up brand new, I don't have the ignition on. First off, I spin it up till I got oil pressure. Confirm I got oil pressure. Then we go into ignition and make her fire. There you go, one start. Start of a start. If you could, please share, like, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, here we go. This is Racer 38 POS Racing. We're going to see if this brand new engine, fresh rebuilt, how she fires up. First try. First try here. We'll bring you along.
bands are a little noisy, but I got she popped right off. Get some paint burned off the exhaust. Watch for leak. Watch your oil pressure. Watch your coolant temperature. You want it 15 to 2,000 RPM for the cam break in. And we're talking uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Do it a while. Just be prepared. I got a fire extinguisher right there in case you know things go astray. There we go folks, half an hour run time, only a minor problem or two, likes to be a little warmer than I want, but hey, I think that's a success, like and subscribe, thanks, bye.